We're here at the house garden, and I know what you're seeing is a complete mess. And it is a mess, but at the same time, it's not. Okay, so there's a few videos out there, not a whole lot of them, about peppers being able to come back the following spring. They do in warmer climates. Of course, we know that hot peppers do not like cold temperatures. So, of course, if they are really frozen, they will not come back. They do die. I have left the pepper plant in the ground before. I've never covered it, never done anything with it, just left it as there, and no, they did not come back in the spring. I am doing something different since there is now at least a handful, if not a couple more, videos talking about letting your uh, winterizing or hibernating your peppers so that they can come back. I did not do this the way that they suggest it. I found these afterwards and I wanted to prolong my pepper season so I wouldn't have done it when they suggested at that time anyway. What I've done is I have taken off all the higher branches, all the leaves, and brought them down to more of a nub, making sure that there are the spots where the leaves can come out and regrow. Now, so far, I have had these covered and when I was trying to extend the growing season, I had covered the base of the pepper plants quite significantly with grass so that they would stay warm. And as I came out here to do this today, I unburied them to take a look at the base. And the base is still sturdy. The base still has a green wick to it. And that tells me that they survived so far the winter that we've had or fall. So I buried them more. Getting them all covered at the bases. And this is my experiment to see if they will come back next year. I will not chance this. I will start peppers, not nearly as many just in case these come back but I, I still will start peppers because I can't not have peppers each year. So they also say that about the tomatoes as well. Whereas I'm not 100% sure if that will work. I Tomatoes for me are a lot easier to grow. So it won't bother me if they don't come back. But they too were buried under grass. And the bases of them two are firm and even have a green wick to it. So I've made sure that they are covered nice and buried and we'll see what happens. Now these have a little more, I guess, uh, green wick to them. So I need to have something to snip them a little bit better. I know, again, I didn't do this the way that they said. I don't have shears, but most of these are cold enough that they just snapped off. So the experiment begins and we'll see what happens next spring.